Hi, this is Ahmed Alugaili and Manos Berlakis, presenting case 231 for the manual of CTO interventions. This is a case in which the Stingray device had to be used both in the LAD and the diagonal for canalizing an LED CTO, followed by two stent bifurcation stenting with a DK crash technique. The patient was a woman that presented with angina in the sending of an LAD CTO. She was referred for canalization of the LAD. The right coronary artery did not have any significant stenosis. However, it was also not giving any collaterals to the LAD. On the left side, there was no significant disease in the circumflex. And then the proximal LAD was tapering down to the mid LAD. There was um, some diffuse disease in the mid LAD with the distal vessel filling via ipsilateral collaterals. And this is the cranial projection showing again the occlusion, tapered entry. There is some ambiguity um, towards the proximal cap. So if we had to summarize, there is tapered entry with some ambiguity. Length seems to be fairly short. The distal vessel is of good quality, but there is this diagonal branch that is uh, filling close to the distal cap. And then the collateral swell epicardial. We did not think that the epicardial collaterals were interventional. Therefore, we decided to either try with undergrade wiring, and if that didn't work, use undergrade dissection and re-entry. We use a Corsair a Pro with a filter XTR, so soft wire to avoid causing any perforation. We see here that the wire is in the extra plug space. It is dancing in sync with the middle LED. We used uh, a Gladius Mongo wire, and once again, we are extra plaque, but uh, moving in sync with the middle lady. As a result, we decided to switch to ADR with a Stingray device. We delivered the Stingray and tried to puncture with a Gynex 3 and then a Star 20, but we were unable to re enter. We have to do psilateral connections. We see here that the um, wire is still in the extra plaque space. We then used the stick and swap for a Gladius Mongo guide wire. And then uh, we confirmed, and this time we did successfully re enter into the distal true lumen. Here we're advancing the guide wire as the vessel opacifies, so we can confirm that indeed we're in the true lumen. We switched uh, the Mongo for a workhorse uh, wire over a Corsair. And uh, now we do have some undergrid flow. However, the problem is that uh, we do not have access to this fairly sizable diagonal branch. And we don't really know where the diagonal originates from the LED. We used IVUS, but could not really determine where the vessel starts. And as a result, we decided to, we decided to use the side base technique. So we put a balloon into the LED and then uh, wired. And the wires seemed to uh, separate from the LED and advance along what seemed to be the course of the diagonal. And this was indeed confirmed when we injected contrast. However, we're in the extra plug space once again. So we did uh, again re-entry using the same Stingray balloon. This is the Gaian X3 guide wire. Here it's going proximal to the proximal marker. And then uh, it's uh, redirected as well to try to re-enter between the two markers. After trying this, then um, we switched once again to the Gladius Mongo, and this seemed to advance uh, nicely. And indeed, uh, with um, in contrast injection, we confirm crossing into the diagonal branch. We predilated, uh, and then given the extensive dissections in the LAD as well as the diagonal, we decided to use a two stand technique, specifically DK crass, that maintains wire access to the main vessel, the LAD, at all times. We stand it uh, into the diagonal, then we cross the stand, uh, we rewired and did the first kissing balloon inflation, then we placed the stand in the LED, and then proximal optimization. Um, we had some difficulty rewiring in the diagonal branch, but using the Sasuke dual lumen microcatheter, we were able to advance a guide wire. We did the second kissing balloon inflation, and now we have great flow in the diagonal. However, the flow in the LED is not very good distal to the stent. 
we did a prolonged balloon inflation. Sometimes we actually may do a cutting balloon there in case we have a subintimal hematoma. But after doing balloon inflation, we did have a good restoration of flow into the distal LAD. So in summary, we had here a CTO with a bifurcation of the distal cap. We had to use the stingray twice, one in the main vessel, the LED, and uh, another time into the diagonal branch. To wire into the diagonal after we crossed the LED, we used the side base technique. And then since we had extensive dissections, we used uh, a two-stand bifurcation strategy with DK crush. And finally, when we had poor flow in the LAD distal to the stents, we did a prolonged balloon inflation, and that restored uh, TME3 under great flow. Thank you.